Welcome to Rusanga University. My name is Ampande Tumbo. I'm the ICT manager. That's me uh, here in the picture. Uh, this video I'm making right now is for our new students. Uh, this is part of ICT orientation for our new students. A new student, when you're live on campus, initially you're supposed to uh, go through a training on orientation called uh, ICT orientation and uh, this is part of uh, orientation. In this video I'm going to demonstrate on step by step on how to get you started with the Rusang University uh, online and also on the different platforms. So the first thing you need is to have a laptop or a smartphone as long as you have access to the internet which is connected to the internet through your bundle, a modem, a wireless uh, which is Wi-Fi or any other means. Alright, so I will simply open up my browser here. You can use any browser that you see fit. For example, you can also use your Pyramid on your phone, on your tablet. Uh, you can also use uh, Google Chrome, Firefox. Really doesn't matter. As long as the browser and your device is connected to the internet, you are good to go. So let's begin. I'll open my browser here. Uh, and uh, let's, I'm going to use Google Chrome. And I'm going to type the university website, which is www.riu.edu.z. And I press enter. And then uh, to take me to the university website, uh, on the university website here, I'm going to uh, go to portal. And on portal, I'll be faced with a new interface. On this interface, there's an online application form for new students. This is some of you who use the on an application, this is a new, a new thing. This is a, a familiar uh, page, I'm sure, because you use the same process. You click here to apply online. But for the purpose of this video, uh, we are main focus is on our new students who have been admitted into the university and uh, joining us. Uh, uh, they will join uh, those who have decided to join us. So we're going to take you step by step on how to uh, update your details into the system. For a returning student, as usual, you simply go to returning students and uh, staff login. You enter your ID number here for a student and your password here. For our staff, as usual, you enter your username and your password. So, uh, new students, you click on where it says click here to sign up as new students, okay? Once you click there, you'll be first with a list of all the programs. These programs are uh, programs that are currently running uh, this year. So you select a program that you have been admitted into. Uh, for example, I'll select a Bachelor of Arts in Computer Management, Information System with Education. And I'll select my program. I'll be faced with a four steps here or on this page. Step one, student details. Step two, if I have to enter my next of kin information. Step three, uh, the step where you confirm the program that you selected. You see the program will be there or if you selected the correct program be reminded on which program that you selected. And step four is simply to confirm and say, I validate the information that I've entered is true and I wish to update or have it entered into the university system. So let's go through uh, step by step. So we go to step one, which is the student details. We'll be faced with this uh, uh, page, which requires you to enter the bio data, which is uh, your personal information. So for example, we'll start and then we'll uh, uh, proceed from there. Okay, so let's begin. You enter your ID number, which is a uh, student number that you have been given by uh, the admissions office. I enter my uh, dummy ID number here. Okay, so I'll enter my NRC. Okay, and yeah, there you go. So the moment you enter your NRC, and if your NRC is correct, on the NRC here, for international students, you simply enter your passport number. Uh, once you enter your passport number, and if you entered your NRC number correctly and your student number or the ID number is correct, you have this green tick here, say, please proceed. If, for example, I enter wrong NRC number here, I put uh, six instead of zero, the system will say, no, your NRC is uh, not found in the system. What does this mean? This means that the admissions office uh, shared with ICT uh, your NRC and the uh, ID number which we have linked together to make sure that during the upload uh, process we have uh, a smooth and authentic information knowing that these two are linked 
in case of an, any error in the ID number or any error in the NRC number, we need to make sure that is uh, that is linked. All right. So, having said that, I'm going to put my surname here. Then I'm going to put my first name here, and I'm going to name our middle name there. No, I'll leave it blank. It's optional. If those of you with a middle name, you can include it there. Please feel free to fill it in there. Gender, I'll pick male. Date of birth, I'll put first. Uh, uh, let me pick April. Since today is April 1, 2020, but for the year, I'll pick 1990 or any year that you were born. Okay. So here you put your date of birth, very important. You need to put your date of birth here. You need to put your date of birth here, make sure. And then nationality, Zambian. Okay, if you are from other countries, like our international students, please feel free to scroll to scroll down and up to make sure that you pick your, you know, your country. Street name. Um, at the moment, I am residing at Rusang University, so I'm going to put in Rusang University here. Um, yeah. Let me yeah, I'll put Rusang University here. That's okay. Let me put it this way. Rusang University. Okay. Box six six zero three nine one. Town Monze. Okay, my phone number six eight five two zero three one five. Yes, please. I'll put my email address. Okay, I'm going to use my email address. Okay, I'm going to use uh, CT Help Desk email yeah, for the sake of the demonstration. This is where you send your, your helpline to. In case you need to have any IT problems, you can simply send to ICT Help Desk at tarag.eg.zm. That's what I've put there for the sake of demonstration. Uh, nationality, where I, where am I studying from, where I am, I'm in Zambia, okay. Disability, if you have any special conditions, you simply click yes here, okay, and move for uh, marital status, if you are single, you leave it single, divorced, widowed, or married, you will pick your status here. Um, campus, very important, you need to select the campus you are studying from. Those of you that are studying from Lusaka campus, select Lusaka campus. Those that are studying from Copper Belt campus in Kitwe, you select Kitwe campus. But uh, for the sake of this demonstration, I'll pick Monze because I'm based in Monze. Okay. Uh, religious uh, denomination or affiliation, you pick. Uh, selection here, simply click on this drop down menu. You'll be faced with these options. Are you an Adventist? Are you a Catholic? Are you a Pentecostal? Are you a Baptist? You will pick all these options and then from there you'll proceed. Study delivery. I'll pick brokerages. If you are full time, uh, you pick full time. But we are picking brokerages for the sake of demonstration. Okay. If I'm, for example, I'm joining in uh, this April. Uh, then go to select your year of study. You have study, select the first year. Just, uh, okay, yeah, first year, yes, if you are first year. Even if you have uh, done other programs, uh, like uh, from other institutions, you're coming into the university, uh, before you uh, apply for exemptions or before you're exempted in those courses or in, in particular in certain courses or to join in a certain year, you select first year. Once that process is concluded, then the system will. Uh, will be updated and you'll be moved to the, 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 the year of study that you that you've been exam uh, that you be that you were supposed to join in. If some of you are already in service, you join maybe maybe a third year or in second year, but that will be done by uh, by the relevant officers. Okay, uh, student login uh, login here. You select uh, the scholar since we were not coming on campus, and then yeah. We proceed after that to the next of kin. Let me also mention this that um, before you move to the next of uh, kin or the next step, please scroll up and down to make sure your information here is authentic. Okay, very, very important. And your phone number also is very important. When we start sending bulk SMSs, and if you enter wrong phone number here, uh, you will not receive those notifications. Okay. 
if you get stuck you need to reset your password <coughs> excuse me if you need to reset your password and you get stuck the password will be sent to this number that you enter here so this number is not for any other purposes or other things uh, this number is for your own good it's very important you get stuck with password the phone, a new password will be sent to this number here if you send back SMS, like i said you definitely need this uh, phone number and please put a number that is active that you use all the time okay and please let me also mention that uh, on this number you don't uh, needs to put plus two six zero or other things just put the way it is with an example on the side here just at entering zero nine six six or zero nine seven seven zero nine six eight whatever it is just enter it the way it is okay so we are done with step one let's move to step two <coughs> excuse me step two we moved to is uh, next of kin okay next of kin information on next of kin you enter the this is the person who the university will contact in case of an emergency in case something happens to you in case you're not in a position to maybe you're not feeling well um, this is very important you need to enter this information as a uh, next of uh, next of kin this is the person the university will contact okay so you put the information here so for example i'm going to put uh, okay i'm going to put Okay, I'm going to put parent there, next of kin, put the phone number, okay, yeah, let me put something more meaningful actually, so, 856103, okay, address, okay, David Kaunda, Kaunda Street, okay, I'll put one, David Kaunda, okay, one David Kaunda Street, town of Frila, Mafken, okay, postal code, just put, uh, yeah, postal code, 10, 10, 1. Okay, so my next of kin information. Okay, put my next of kin information there, like Montumbo. Put your yeah, parent there, or Lego Guardian, or you put your information there. Okay, and then from there, you put the phone number of the Lego Guardian. It's a number that would be used to contact that uh, uh, your major's contact. If you want to put two or more, all you simply do is just click on this button here. Okay, simply click on this button here. And another window open up so that you can have as, add as many as uh, as you see fit. In case the other person's phone is off, we can have another person uh, uh, be able to be reached. Okay, having said that, the next thing you'll go to is a uh, program registration. This here is just to confirm that uh, the registration, the courses that the course, the program that you picked is uh, reflecting here, and that means you are good to go. Then uh, step four, where you submit your uh, information now uh, you come to this step having knowing that uh, you have entered all the bio data correctly so from there you now come here and you click update information okay now you will notice that uh, some of the information here is saying duplicate and all that because I already entered this information in the system okay it's information I've already done it I'm just doing for the sake of demonstration to also tell me this phone number is already existing because I'm um, I'm already in the in, in the system. My details are already in the system. So what do I do? Next thing uh, from here. Uh, next thing from here. Yeah, uh, for you you won't have these errors, okay? Because your data is uh, not yet in the system. Just NRC and the and the ID number. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, from there, the next thing you do is to simply take note of the password. Okay. Password and you you know you already know your ID number. Take note of the password. I'm going to copy my password or write it somewhere. And then I'm going to go up here. You simply click on home or on this logo. Okay, when you click on the logo, it takes you to this page. At this moment, you don't need to go through this process again. You updated your details. You simply come to this end here. We're saying returning students now. 
and you enter your ID number and then you enter your password. I'm going to paste my password in there or you can enter a password and then there you go. Okay, so once you are at that stage, uh, you log in, this is how your portal will look like. Okay, so from here, you have access to the home page to even welcome here, knowing that you enter your correct details. And then from there, you will see the, the announcements, the updates, <coughs> the feed packages, and other information that is, uh, that is there. All right, so that's it uh, for now. Uh, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, uh, goodbye for now. We will have another set of videos that will take you through on um, to take you through on how to manage uh, the information here in the system, how to register for courses. We'll take you through uh, through that step, um, and more, most likely we'll ask other returning students who are already using the platform to do this, uh, the video. We've asked already a few who are working on this. Once those videos are available, we'll start uploading them so that we can have access to this, okay? Thank you so much uh, for listening and for watching, and uh, goodbye for now.